Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome to another topics for MRCS exam. It is the question and answer solve. Here, this is the question. A 58 years old lady present with a mass in the upper outer quadrant of the right breast. Which of the following statement relating to the breast is untrue? Though it is a scenario, but the last option here, this is the in case of breast, which is true. That means in case of breast which is not true that means which is false so we have to find out the false option regarding the breast in the options here the options options are the internal memory artery provides the majority of the arterial supply nipple retraction may occur as a result of tumor infiltration of the clavipectoral fascia the internal memory artery is a branch of subclavian artery up to 70 percent of the lymphatic drainage is to the ipsilateral axillary lymph node and none of the above so we have to find out one of the options which is not compatible with the normal anatomy of the breast so first of all let's see here here we can see this is a female breast and here we can see this is the artery supply of the breast and here we can see this is the artery arising from the subclavian artery this artery is the subclavian artery and we can see from the subclavian artery a artery arising and this artery is the internal memory artery and we can see in the medial side the internal memory artery it supplies almost a half of the breast so here we can see the almost half of the breast is supplied by this internal memory artery on the other hand we can see in the lateral half of the breast it is shared by these two artery this two artery on is the superior thoracic another one is the so this artery they are arising from the axillary artery and it supplies the another half of the breast so majority of the blood is arising from this and this is the internal memory artery we can see this is the c c is the internal memory artery so this is the internal memory artery or internal thoracic artery and this artery it provides the maximum blood to the breast then in the next picture this is the normal lymphatic drainage of the breast so from the breast there are different type of the lymphatic drainage First of all here we can see the para-external lymph node or it is the internal thoracic lymph node or internal memory lymph node then we can see the axillary group of the lymph node and in this picture it is clear that the axillary group of lymph node they are large large in number and some other supraclavicular lymph node so it is clearly shown that in the axillary region there are the lots of the lymphatic lymph nodes and these lymph nodes are the main lymphatic drainage of the breast but here is a flow set let's see the flow set here the lymph form in the nipple area memory gland then you can see the sub area lymphatic first then axillary lymph node group so this is the axillary lymph node group axillary lymph node group it drains about 75 percent that means it is the three fourth of the wall lymphatic drainage of the breast is drained into the axillary lymph node group so this information is very 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 important that the axillary lymph node group that means this group of the lymph node they carry the maximum lymphatics from the breast and about 20 percent they are drained into the para external that means into the internal thoracic and also in the posterior intercostal lymph node so it is now clear that the axillary lymph node it carries about 70 percent that means the maximum type of lymphs from the breast and from this picture is clear that internal memory artery it provides maximum blood supply to the breast then in this picture we can see this is a female breast and here we can see the different fibrous structure and this fibrous structure is connected to in the lower part of this fascia which is 
quiz covers the muscles and we can see the this fibrous structure connected with this fascia and this is the suspensory ligament of the pupil so if infiltration occur in the or tumor infiltration or cancer infiltration occur in the suspensory ligament of the pupil then it causes nipple retraction if these here this fiber or this connective tissue this connective tissue they uh, are occupied by the tumor cell so this contraction of the suspensory ligament of the pupil causes the retraction of the nipple so this point is very important that detraction occurred due to until infiltration of the suspensory ligament which is very very important this is the suspensory ligament of copper then we can see this is the internal thoracic artery this internal thoracic artery which supplies or which is the main blood supply to the breast and it arises from this artery and this artery is the subclavian artery so this name is also important because this artery here this artery is the subclavian artery so internal thoracic artery it arises from the subclavian artery then in this picture a it is also clear that this is the internal thoracic artery or internal mammary artery and we can see this internal thoracic artery or internal mammary artery that uh, this arises from this vessel and this vessel is the subclavian artery and we can see the subclavian artery it reaches up to the outer border of the first rib so outer border of the first rib there the subclavian artery ends and the subclavian artery it provides the internal thoracic artery which is the main blood supply to the breast and we can see some other artery arising from the subclavian artery such as in the upper part here we can see it reaches up to the brain and this is the vertebral artery then we can see there is thyro cervical trunk also so it is now our answer that the nipple retraction may occur as a result of tumor infiltration of the clavi pectoral fascia it is not true because the nipple retraction occur we saw in the picture that it occurs in the infiltration of suspensory ligament of the cooper it occurs due to infiltration of the tumor on the suspensory ligament of the cooper and other structures uh, other options such as the internal memory artery it provides majority of the arterial supply it is true we saw that in the internal memory artery it supplies almost medial half of the breast and other part that lateral part of the breast is supplied by the superior thoracic artery and lateral thoracic artery then in the third option here internal memory artery is a branch of subclavianary uh, artery it is also true and the internal memory artery it arises from the first part of the subclavian artery with the other two artery one is the vertebral and another one is thyro cervical trunk then up to 70 percent up to 70 percent of the lymphatic drainage occurs in the ipsilateral ex axillary lymph it is also true about six, up to six seventy to 70 percent uh, they drain into the uh, excitatory group of the limit and uh, a smaller part it drains into the parasternum that means the internal memory limit and into the posterior intercostal limit so our answer is now ready that nipple retraction it occurs due to infiltration of the tumor in the suspensory ligament of cooper so this option is the false relating to the formation of the breast thank you